Well, good evening, everybody. We're so glad to have you here on a Sunday night to just spend this time worshiping the Lord, praying and making him our one thing for this entrance into Holy Week. And I just want to take a minute to, to tell you again, uh, we did this in January. We're doing it now. We'll do one in July, and we'll do another one in October. But this is an opportunity for you to just allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you. You are not under compulsion or expectation to respond in any particular way. But neither are you restricted to respond in any way. We're going to sing about it in a moment. This is a place of freedom. And so you can sit, you can stand, you can kneel, you can uh, just have complete liberty and freedom tonight to respond the way you want to respond in this service. So we're going to do a little bit of music, and then there's going to be a little bit of time of, of exhortation and and perhaps we'll have uh, ministry time. Uh, we might invite you to the front if you can and want to come. Pastor Scott's here. Janet's here. There's, there's people here that, that can pray for you. If you want to have someone agree with you in prayer. But this is Palm Sunday. And I tweaked what we had planned to do tonight because I wanted to start where we landed this morning. And so we're going to go back into that song, King of Glory. Fill this place. We just want to be with you. We just want to be with you. So before we go into that, before Rachel leads us, can we right now just open up our hearts, open up our voice, and say, King of glory, you're welcome here tonight. All over the room, right now, will you just, will you just magnify him? Will you invite him? Will you give him the liberty and the freedom? Will you welcome him? King of glory, feel this place. We just want to be with you. We just want to be with you. You're welcome here tonight. Lord, we give you free reign. We give you liberty to move and to minister and to do what you want to do in this night of worship. One thing, one thing do we desire to be with you in your temple and to seek for answers in your presence tonight. So will you worship with us as Rachel leads us right now in this song that's just perfect as we enter into this holy week. King of glory, come and fill this place. Hallelujah. Just 
just want to be with you. Come on. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man. Every day. want to be with you Lord right here right now right here right now fill this place fill this place you alone are worthy you alone are worthy you're holy you're righteous All over this room right now. In your own way, can we just offer him our worship? Can we magnify him? Can we offer him our praise?
Hallelujah. You, Lord, are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. No one can worship you for me. Hallelujah. Here's my worship. We give you our worship right now. As I am breathing. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. I will, and I will not be silent. I will always 
Somebody tell him you're worthy. Somebody tell him you're worthy. You're holy. You're holy. You're worthy. You're holy. You're faithful. You're enough. You're everything. You are able to do exceeding abundantly above everything that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I love how you're responding. I appreciate your hearts for this night. We're going to do one more song, a brand new song, that I really want you to lean into with us tonight. And then we're going to give time for you to just come to these altars and pray and perhaps we'll minister to some folks during that time as well. But I want, you to, I want you to hear my heart because when I introduced this song to our team a couple weeks ago, I've had so many people on this platform talk to me about this song. And some of them have said, I, I can't even listen to it without it bringing me to tears. The lyrics move me to the point that makes my eyes wet. And I've had other people that were honest enough to come to me and say, I don't know if I'm quite where this song is. Because there's a bridge of this song that says, I don't want anyone else. I don't need anything else. You are my one thing. You are my one thing. And seven or eight months ago, when we were planning the one thing night for October, and we decided that we were going to call these Sunday nights one thing, I didn't know about this song. But the bridge of this song says everything that's in our hearts, Pastor Dennis's heart, our staff, when we talked about this, one thing have I desired. So it's a new song. It won't take you long to learn it and sing along with us. The chorus simply says, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this world, but give me Jesus. And so if that is your heart's desire tonight. I want you to worship as Erica with her pure and tender heart of worship leads us in this song that simply says, give me Jesus. Let's worship. You're more than every dream. 
everybody, everybody say. you have to do it 
If you need to come to this altar, if you need to kneel at your pew, if you just want to walk, however you have to do it, I want everybody in this room to make an altar that says, you can sit at your pew if that's more comfortable. You can sit at your pew. But I want everybody for the next few minutes, if you really, really want the words of this song to be your life, give me Jesus. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I want you to find a place right now on this one thing night of worship to make him our one thing for a few moments right now, right now, all over this room, all over this room, can we somehow find a way to say, I just want Jesus. I just want Jesus. I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. I just want Jesus. I just want him. silver more than gold more than silver more than gold you are the treasure that I hold now that we've tasted of your goodness nothing else nothing else nothing else satisfies As we enter into this holy week, as we enter into this week of, of your passion, we say, Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. You can have all this one.
I don't need anything else. You are my one thing. You are my one thing. I don't want anyone else. I don't need anything else. You are my one thing. You are my one thing. I don't want anyone else. I don't need anything else you are my one thing you are my one thing I don't want anyone else I don't need anything else you are my one thing you are my one thing I want Pastor Scott and Janet, if you would, to just be down here at the front. And if you are here tonight and you need somebody to pray the prayer of faith with you, you need somebody to agree with you in prayer, we're going to give you a chance to come. And we're going to just stay right here on this song for a moment. But I want you to listen to me for, for a minute. I, I shared this with our music team a couple of weeks ago. Back here in the hallway as we pray on Sunday mornings before morning worship service. The story of When Elijah was hiding in a cave and God came to him, the story says there was a great wind, but God was not in the wind. There was a great earthquake, but God was not in the earthquake. There was fire, and God was not in the fire. But the King James says, then there was a still, small voice. And God was in the still, small voice. And he spoke to Elijah, and he said, what are you doing here, Elijah? What I never saw about that Hebrew word there is it literally means silence. It literally means it was a voice of silence. Some of the translations say a sheer sound 
of silence. Now see, already that messes with us because we don't put sound and silence together. <laughs> but the word means that. In that passage of scripture and in that context, it was a sheer sound of silence, a voice of silence. And I don't know about you tonight, but in a world and in a culture in which every day we are bombarded with voices, distractions. I want the still small voice of God to be the loudest voice in my life. I want that sound of silence that voice of silence. I want that voice to be the loudest voice in my life. And so right now, tonight, I want Erica to go back to that verse, more than silver, more than gold. And I want you to come. If you have something, it doesn't have to be crazy demonstrative. I know these people know how. It's all right if it is, but I know these folks know how to pray for you. They know how to agree with you. And so whatever it is that you need tonight, if you want someone to pray the prayer of faith for you and you believe that in this beautiful and sweet and tender moment of just the sweetness of the presence of God how many of you know that he can speak to you in that voice of silence he can speak to you in that sheer sound of silence we're going to sing it really soft we're going to sing it really, really tender. And this is your opportunity tonight. If you want Janet or Pastor Scott to pray with you, come right now as Erica leads us. More than silver. More than a whisper all over the room. Everybody say.
people continue to come for prayer. As people continue to come for prayer. I tell these singers sometimes to almost whisper when we sing. But I'm going to tell you right now that I want you to sing it out. Just the congregation. Just the congregation and Michael on the piano. I want to hear you sing it. And you don't have to hold back. You don't have to hold back. I want to hear you sing this like you mean it. Say, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus. Come on, sing it. Give me folks continue to be prayed for we're going to worship this is a place of freedom this is a place where a calm a calm can cover your soul when you kneel when you kneel at his feet a peace and a calm that defies explanation can cover your soul tonight. So as we worship right now, these folks are still coming, and you can still come for prayer if you need it. But let's worship together right now. This is a place of liberty. This is a place of freedom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way in this place, Lord, in every heart and every life. In every heart and in every life tonight. Let that deep, settled peace. There's 
together now. Everybody, I'm going to lift my hands. I'm going to lift my hands till I can reach heaven. I'm going to shout your name till the walls come falling down. I've come to worship. I've come to worship. There's a love. Gonna sing my song. I'm gonna sing my song. Like I am unashamed. I'm gonna shout for joy at the mention of your name. I've come to worship. I've come to worship. There's no one that can bring me peace.
of your name we shout for joy. At the mention of your name we shout for joy. We're going to lift our hands. We're going to worship until the walls come falling down. We're worship until the walls come falling down. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. are still being ministered to and I love this and if you still need prayer you can come but I want to I want to tell you one more thing tonight it's 730 I told you last time if you need to go you can go I get that but guys I want us to go to the last song we're going to get ready to sing every victory we're going to sing every victory but before we do that I want, you to, I want you to listen to this real, real fast. I saw something this week from Jeremiah 1.12. Just this morning, I shared this with our music team today. God spoke to Jeremiah and said, I will hasten my word to perform it. How many of you have read that scripture? I will watch over my word to perform it. I will hasten my my word to perform it but I want to I want to tell somebody in this room right now that word in the Hebrew when he says I will watch over my word 
I will hasten my word to perform it. It literally means one translation says this I will rise early to keep a promise. I will rise early to keep a promise. Let me read this to you. And we're going to sing this song. When it says, I will hasten my word to perform it, it literally means to be sleepless in the Hebrew. To be sleepless. To be alert. To be awake. So what God is saying is this. Why don't you just sleep and let me take care of my word to perform it? Why don't you just take a good nap? Why don't you just sleep? Because he that watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. I will watch over my word. I will be awake. I will be alert. I will be sleepless to make sure that I do what I've promised you I'm going to do. I will watch over my word to perform it. So if you need victory in some area tonight, as we sing this song, we're going to sing this next Sunday morning because the lyrics are right for Easter Sunday morning. But we're going to sing it tonight. I want you to worship with us as we sing one name above all other names. Every victory he will perform. He will accomplish. He will do what he said he would do. Can I invite you to stand if you're not and you're able? Can you just stand all over the room right now? We will lift our eyes. We won't fear the fight Cause there is one who's stronger He will not lose sight A heart pressed on each side Of the one who's greater One name, one name will say Silences the enemy. One king who reigns for all eternity. Jesus, Jesus. Hear this on the battlefield, your power is revealed. Giants fall. Defeated. Hey. We are taking ground. Walls are falling down in the mighty name of Jesus. One name, one name of every victory. Yeah. One voice that silences. You know that he's able. He's able. Yay! Listen. We don't fight for victory. We fight from a place of victory tonight. We fight from a place. Come on and say it right now. Say it. Every victory is yours. Every victory. You rose, you reign. Death is buried in the grave. Hell could not defy your name. You rose, you reign. Every, every victory is yours. Every victory. 
The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself of no reputation. And he took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee will bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and every tongue will confess that he's Lord. I want you to say it right now. Come on. Oh, oh, the battle is the Lord's. Say, oh, you don't have to fight it. You don't have to lose sleep over it because he's watching over his word. The victory is yours. The victory is yours because the victory is his. He's already won it. Ah, oh, y'all, it just happens that we're in the right key to go back to something we did this morning. It just happens that we're in the right key to say, Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine Say, everywhere I go Everywhere I be Jesus is mine Somebody say Somebody 
Are you ready for Resurrection Sunday? Hallelujah. We're going to sing and play our way out of here with a little bit more of that. Pastor Dennis wanted you to know that he is with Becca tonight and everything's good, but he just wanted to be uh, with her tonight as she continues to recover uh, from this. But he wanted to make sure that our team and the church knew that his heart is here. He's probably watching the live stream. Uh, tonight, but I love you. We love you. We're going to have a great week. Thank you for your heart for worship. Thank you for your heart to go after the Lord. And uh, let's have just a little bit more fun with that, y'all, while we're, while we're heading out. Love somebody on your way out of here. Shake their hands. Tell them uh, you're glad to be with them tonight in the house of the Lord. Let's say it a little bit. Jesus in my Jesus is mine Everywhere, everywhere I go Everywhere I be Jesus is mine Come on, say Jesus is mine One more time, Jesus is mine.